move. As you know, our mission here is to bring you news from our own backyard because we want to reconnect local people, places, and things. Well, during one of my searches, I came across a website called GhostTownToday.com. And GhostTownToday.com, I think, is a pretty cool website. Um, it covers uh, Gostown, Pennardville, New, Bo New Boston, Dunbarton, and Ware. Uh, and it, it's sort of like a community news event kind of thing. And, and in fact, really, it, it's sort of a precursor. It, it, well, we're with Bill Wynn, the founder of Gostown Today. And what I'm trying to say is what Bill has, has started to do with GostownToday.com is actually part of our long-range uh, multimodal media approach to connecting local people, places, and thing, things in the greater Manchester area. So we were with the, the publisher of the site, Mr. Bill Wynn. Um, who has been very helpful to us here at Gerard at Large. And we are looking forward to hearing about his efforts to bring uh, Gostown, Pennardville, New Boston, Dunbarton, and Ware community news and, and um, um, how we're going to work together to make sure that those, among other areas in our listening area, uh, are getting the news that's right in their own backyard. So, Bill, welcome to Gerard at Large. Good morning, Gretchen. Thank you for having me on the program today. It's a pleasure being here with you and the crew. It's amazing. Thanks for being with us, Bill. So let's let's yeah, let's dig right into it. Let's a little bit about your background and, and how you came about to do this site. Well, early on, uh, I was uh, coming into retirement, and I was on Economic Development Council in Gosstown, and I was trying to figure out, well, what can I do here for the community? Am I going to have a lot of time on my hands and things like that? So I decided to start a business directory. I uh, did that, and I was taking still photos of sports games and things of that nature. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of interaction with the community, and I said, you know what? This can go a lot further, and I can have a lot more fun with it. <laughs> so uh, it, I, it has become all-consuming. It's done nothing but grow and grow and grow. And uh, our main focus at GhostTownToday.com is to cover the towns that you mentioned. But uh, we don't chase fire trucks. We don't chase police cars. What we do do is we chase down the and uh, okay. one of the things that we are uh, known for and what we specialize in, Rich, is our video productions. And uh, people love taking a look at what happened if they couldn't make it. People love taking a look at uh, uh, what happened if they ended up in the video production. And we've uh, literally done hundreds of them over the last, uh, well, since we've been in an exception. Now, is this just all you, or do you have... Uh, uh system of, of people like the weather watchers? Do, you, do we have the, the, the event watchers in, in these towns uh, feeding you information so that, you know, you can get it up on the site, or are you just out there running around like a fool all by yourself? Oh, no, we're very well organized at uh, GhostTownToday.com. It started out as me, myself, and I, but it can't be that anymore because of our growth. Um, I do have uh, interaction with all four communities. I subscribe to all the school newsletters, the town newsletters. If there's a newsletter out, out there, it's coming into our mailbox. And uh, we take uh, what we feel is a worthy event that's coming up. We put it in our calendar, our events and promotion calendar, which is in our nav bar. And uh, if we feel it's worthy for a, a short story, uh, we will do that, and uh, that's another arena that we are uh, embarking on at this point uh, using some uh, local people who have media experience to start writing some stories for us. Terrific. Dry at Large Time is just about 7.15. We're here with Bill Wynn of GhostTownToday.com. We are with Bill Wynn, publisher of Gosstown Today. And, you know, I, I, made, uh, I made an allusion to your being a troublemaker in the town of Gosstown, which, which caused you to chuckle. And uh, I, you know, I don't mind telling you, you, you know, I'm sure there are people out there who think I'm off my rocker and controversial and, and maybe uh, you know, doing things that uh, aren't necessarily accurate, although we are 100% accurate, 100% of the time, just ask me. And when I'm wrong, yeah. I'll tell you. <laughs> but, um, You're in your own um, I, you know, I'd, I'd be lying, Bill, if I didn't tell you that I had gotten some feedback from folks, uh, especially in the town of Gosstown, who, who thought you were a bit of a... Um, you know, a hatchet man on certain issues or whatnot. And, you know, tell me about that. And, and, and frankly, I don't necessarily take that as a negative. It, it caused me maybe to dig a little deeper into your site and do a little more, you know, checking into who you were in your background right. before we sort of associated in this way. But mm -hmm. what, what do you think is out there that um, um, has caused some upset to various people in, in, in your town? What it boils down to, Rich, is sometimes things become controversial for whatever reason. And um, I have uh, particularly you know, one selectman who uh, um, did not like the fact that I published a video of him and uh, has got the word out that he said that uh, I slandered him. Well, all I did was publish what he did in a uh, meeting. 
I didn't do anything. I just brought out the news. Mm -hmm. My publication has been very forceful in uh, the political arena. And uh, it's, uh, for instance, I'll take John Burt, who's on later on in, today in the program. Yep. Mark Warden, two freshmen uh, congressional uh, con uh, in Concord. Yes, two so, reps. So what happened there is they were the only two uh, members running in the last uh, uh, primary uh, election for seats that were brand new. They were the only two ones that advertised on my publication. Mm -hmm. Those two received the highest number of votes. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> um, you think it's because uh, GosstownToday.com is known for having a conservative voice and promoting the uh, right side of the agenda? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I never say no to taking anything from either side or independence, but I will promote the heck out of the right side. Okay, so you have uh, an admitted political agenda. Oh, absolutely. All right. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny as I've, as I've gone about building the show and, and talking to people uh, on both sides of the aisle, I get a lot of caution. Mm -hmm. You know, caution. Make sure that you give the other side access and you're exactly. not one-sided. So now, uh, Goffstown Today, this is an advertiser-supported site? Yes, it is. And uh, we, we don't make any money, basically, uh, Rich. But what it boils down to is we have a great sports guy, Steve Puglia, who does all the NASCAR and the football for us. Tom Zotti, who, Tom Zotti, who's going to be doing um, um, hockey. We also have some local writers that do the local sports. I have a team that goes out and films uh, what games we can get a hold of. Uh, we'll be filming the uh, night game in uh, Goffstown on the field uh, under the lights. This I'm happy to night. say that we've got the, uh, the the athletic director of Goffstown. Oh, his, name of me. Yeah, his name right. escapes me at the moment. Give me a minute. But he's coming on with us Friday morning to talk oh, about perfect. that. Perfect. Steve Fountain. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Steve Fountain's coming on. Okay. Steve Fountain's coming. Great. Yeah. Um, that's that's what we do. Um, you know, we have some we have some great stories. Uh, contributing writers, market chat uh, for financial information. I've got Ivan Belvo who does uh, his thought on uh, goodness from uh, local all the way through to the world order. It's 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 a great publication to uh, get all sides, and we cater to every corner of uh, the world that we can, whether it's in our local community or not. Well, you know, and what excited me about finding your publication and subsequently talking to is that your mission for the communities that you serve is the exact same mission that what we have here mm -hmm. at Gerard at Large for Manchester and the surrounding towns, which includes right. all of the communities you serve. Yes, it does. Um, and that is to reconnect local people, places, and things by bringing them news from their own backyard. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it is a challenge. It's a, it's a struggle because the, the resource question, the time question, um, advertiser support question, right. you know, I'm, I'm not happily retired like you are. I need to have this thing, you know, produced for my family or we're going to be living in a box there saying, you go. help us, please. Um, are, you saying, but, are you saying my pension check helps? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it does. Yes, it does. Um, but um, the, the other, and we think that's important. And so let, let's talk about the mission of local media just in the remaining time that we have. We have, okay. a, we have about a minute and a half left. All right. So, um, you know, and I don't view you as a competitor. I view you as a... Um, contributor, I, a, a contributor um, what's the word, a compatriot, not a competitor, yeah. in yeah. our yeah. efforts to bring this news back to local people. And what I found and what's really surprised me, what didn't surprise me was the demand for local news. Mm -hmm. What has surprised me is how badly I underestimated that demand. Almost oh. every guest, by the way, that I have this it's week. incredible, Rich. All yeah, the two of really the guests is. that we've had this week were guests that either we were solicited and yes. asked to come on. Well, we're proud to be carrying your and that's uh, huge. your logo on our uh, publication. We have been promoting uh, your guest and your show as much as we uh, possibly can. I think it's a great opportunity for both of us to uh, move into the arena of local. Mm -hmm. we, we, you want to be there, we want to be there, and uh, we enjoy um, um, being here today especially. Well, that's great, and we're looking forward to working with you um, moving forward. Um, it's good to have a friend in Goffstown. Hey, there Hello, you go. <laughs> now, tell me, tell, tell, I, I kind of cracked up when I saw the website first because you listed Penardville as if it were oh, an entity. You know, years ago, you know, yes. there was a joke, a running joke on WFEA, you know, right. about you know the, the winery in Penardville. I don't mm -hmm. know if anybody remembers that, but they used to talk about the winery in Penardville. That was kind of hidden, though. Kind of a, a, a you know a running joke, and you know right. we we on the west side especially because I grew up in West Manchester. You know, Penardville was always like a state of mind, you know. So why why separate out little Penardville? Rich, it boils down to the people in Penardville who really just like that 03102 zip code. <laughs> They don't want a thing to do with it, to be honest with you. And uh, when you think about it, Goffstown is beautiful in two special ways. It has a business district in Cabarrettville, and it has a village district in the yeah. village. And you know what? They're both two different things, 
They do two, they cater to two different uh, uh, arenas in our wonderful community. And I have to tell you, if you need something, you can go to Pernodville. If you need something, you can go to the village. It's your choice. Is that 03102 zip code is really cost. Isn't it Pernodville? Uh, but no, well, I've heard a couple of If you're on the other side of the village, it's been yeah. our the, 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 the other thing that's beautiful are my floors, courtesy of Tim St. Paul and St. Paul Wood Floors. Mm-hmm. We have to wrap up this segment, Bill. We're coming to the bottom of the hour break. We thank you for joining us here today at Gerard at Large, and we'll look forward to having you back. Just